Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3, Episode 19, Thoughts. This episode is called Failed Experiments. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, we open in the past and we see the very first... Yeah, ac according to the, the MDB credits, that's actually a Mayan. Um, yeah, the very first body for Hive, and you gotta be really careful, you gotta be very sensitive when you depict, like, indigenous people. I'm not the right person to say if they did a good enough job here. Let's see, and then we have, um, um... Right, yeah. Um, Lincoln trying to help, and May telling him, you know, last time you helped, it wasn't helpful. And you know, you wanna, you wanna help, don't. And yeah, you know, it is. You can really understand both perspectives because he does really care, but she's right. You know, he almost tortured Alicia. And we have the, um, yeah, um, the, you know, Lincoln is, is willing to let them test the, the antitoxin on him, which, yeah, you know, he is really willing to go very far for for Daisy and yeah so Coulson is sitting as the you know footage you know yeah while a bunch of other agents mill around you know he's he stays there until there is a, a hit which is a weird time to quit I guess but you know we yeah very nicely done good use of the I forget what it's called, like time progression. It, it speeds through a bunch of, of time. And, yeah, you know, Mac and Colson talk about, is this a trap? Because it does seem very, yeah, and, and you know, by the end of the episode, Daisy says, no, I just, I stopped thinking like a spy. And, yeah, I, I can't help but feel like this is, you know, again, a bit of, government propaganda. See, facial recognition can save people. It's not being used to crack down on people who haven't actually done anything wrong. And, yeah, the MCU does the MCU thing of having the villain be the one who points out, you know, he, he says that the problem for the town was that once the water was poisoned, they didn't band together, which, yeah, you know, I'm I'm very far left. That is kind of, you know, the the. Yeah, I, I don't know if what he's saying quite constitutes communism, but at least like co-op, like it's yeah, but it's the bad guy saying it, so it must be wrong. Is the the reason that he's the one saying it, and yeah, he said, you know, I'm going to apply a collectivist philosophy and you know says that that's different from the Avengers it makes reference to Tony Stark and Steve Rogers holy crap it was intense when the experiment fails and they're like melting you know the CG on the show is sometimes like most of the time really really good like it's the kind of thing where you know, I would normally be like, can it, is it possible to do, like, practically, but given how, like, it, it doesn't take just, like, a second or two to melt, it takes, like, several seconds, it would, it would be an intense workload, you know, it's, it's also a lot for, for CG, but it's just, it's not quite the same, and, let's see, I like me saying, why does everyone make this about themselves? And 
and yeah, so Lincoln Fitzsimmons and Colson talk about the, the risks of testing the antitoxin and yeah, you know, the the I appreciate you know, Gemma like Lincoln is like, I looked at it and it really doesn't look like it's as dangerous as you say it is. And she's like, yeah, I don't think you're being completely objective here. And, yeah, um, fun scene in the bar. Alicia handing beer to Alicia. And, you know, James d did really well at the, the pinball game. And Daisy is going to try to break his record. And... I really appreciate, like, Daisy is being, like, brutally honest. Like, I, when she's talking to S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, she's being cruel. When she's talking to allies, she's, like, she gets intensely personal. You know, the, and, and yeah, like, at first when she starts saying, aw, like, you know, he gives a look. And, and I was also thinking, like, holy crap, but I, I thought you two were on the same side. But, you know, she does follow up by saying... No, you know, things are better now. Like, you're, what was it? You're a, you're a bird with a broken wing, something like that, you know. And, and, yeah, she's, like, it's not, it's, it's, it's like Daisy without any kind of, like, filter. And <laughs> I like that, you know, um, Dr. Uh, Radcliffe, you know, talks to Hive and, you know, yeah, makes a statement. And Hive is like, so you're saying this was my fault. And Dr. Radcliffe is like, no, 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 no. Well, yes. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, I think it's around this point in the episode where we meet Agent Piper. Fun character. Uh, looking forward to seeing more. Let's see, and and Agent O'Brien, I think we'd already met Agent Anderson, but yeah, the thing about the the guns, you know, she's like, this gun, this is my gun, I, you know, I have it in writing, this is in my contract, something like that, just, yeah, and yeah, uh, Fitzsimmons talk about, you know, if there's a problem with them disagreeing over the over their work, you know, and yeah, really, really good stuff. And it, it, yeah, very, very healthy relationship. It, you know, it's not actually good, though it might superficially seem appealing for two people to just 100% agree. You know, that's, yeah. And, and it's the kind of thing where, like, if, if you think your partner does agree with like everything you say or do, there's some chance that they're actually holding back, and eventually it's they're they're not going to be able to to hold back any longer, and it's much better if you just get it said as as soon as possible so you can, you know, yeah, figure out if it's too big a disagreement. For, for you to stay together, or if it is something, you know, yeah. And, yeah, just as they're, they're talking about that, you know, Simmons spots Lincoln injecting himself, you know, and the, the it's, it's the kind of thing where, like, when we, when, yeah, seeing it happen, it's like, of course he was going to do that. But it's not also not the kind of thing where, like, you know, we were wondering, well, why weren't they watching him or kind of thing, you know. And, you know, and, and yeah, he, like, lights up, like, a Christmas tree and fries a bunch of computers and such. And <laughs> I gotta say, I really love May working James, like, just beautiful. It's, you know, she walks in, and she's like, you know, clearly you're not Hydra. And, and it's, it's again, it's one of those things, if you have to lie in, in a situation like that, lie with confidence. 
you know, make it seem like you belong there because that's going to like, you know, it's a, it's a psychological trick. The other person's going to be like, I mean, if they didn't belong here, they wouldn't be acting like this. This is complete. Who's, who's going to go into a place where they don't belong and act like they're the center of the universe? That's not, you know, so the, the, yeah. And yeah, you know, she, she's like, I, you know, yeah, she, he, he says, you know, he reveals who he is by, by showing with the explosion. And then she's like, you're one of them. Can you introduce me to the leader? You know, just very nicely because yeah, you know, he's a blowhard. That's really gonna, he's going to be, oh, you know, I, I can definitely introduce you to and yeah, Daisy says she wants to put shield agents through the experiments, which yeah, very very yeah. Again, you can see how she got there, but it's again, it's it's like it's chilling. You know, we've just seen what happened. So, yeah, and. Yeah, Lincoln learns they're you know they have to drill into his brain for for tissue for the test, and yeah, the um, the machine was activated, and some Reapers come in. I you know very very tense when you know they're just looking at it, and then you know Coulson sees the the um, like warning th thing, to, you know, there's something about to crash there, you know, ev everybody out of there, and just, yeah, really, really, both of the, um, both of the Reapers, really, really intense presence, very cool when they fight Alicia, and... Yeah, Daisy actually manages to, to stop one of them breaking bones using the, the quake powers and, if, you know, including the, the spine. And then they start taking blood. And, yeah, Mac tries to, to talk Daisy out. I, I quite like Dr. Radcliffe being like, I'm good here. I don't need more of your help. So if you could please get very far away from me without breaking any of my bones, I would just love that, you know. And and Mac shows up <clears throat> and yeah, like Daisy like very verbally cruel with with him the way she was with with Fitz. I guess actually more more so with with Max. You know, you were almost like a bigger brother, but let's be honest, you're barely a brother to Ruben. It's like, oh my god, just yeah. And let's see, yeah, and and he, you know, he doesn't fight back, but he also won't leave without her. And you know, yeah, she's using the the quake powers and the the martial arts training really really like upsetting to watch and very very cool with Hive fighting the other Reaper and I really appreciate like some of the time he's just like he's he's doing the thing he's, he's doing the Neo thing you know one arm behind his back and just easily you know dodging blows and such but other times it is actually like it looks like the Reaper might win and yeah, he manages to let's see to stop the to stop the Reaper, and then like the you know high the shot several times, including with the big thing, and yeah, like it blows, you know, part of his yeah, like yeah, it destroys his shoulder, but he just heals in like a few seconds time, and it really is this thing of like holy crap, is it possible to stop? Hive, you know, and all oh, right. And I like the. It's pointed out, you know, a little, a little earlier in the episode 
these aren't any Kree. These are Reapers. They're even more dangerous than regular Kree. You know, because Daisy did fight a Kree before. This one's even more dangerous. And... Yeah. Um, they they do shoot Daisy you know, in, in the shoulder, in the arm, in order to, to get Mac away from, from her. And yeah, Lincoln, you know, says, I, I'm not your pri I'm I'm not a prisoner here. And and Simmons says, You are my prisoner, which I'm willing to bet that generated some gigs of fanfic. And yeah. I ripped his heart out, as we discussed. Which is great, because like, yeah, early that that is what she said earlier, but like we didn't take it so literally, and now he is standing there holding this big blue heart. I did like that one of the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents called him Papa Smurf. Not to his face. That would, yeah, not gonna do that. And, yeah, Daisy says, I'm done with S.H.I.E.L.D. Drain me, which, pretty sure that also generated a substantial amount of fanfic but yeah they're doing a really great job building to the the finale like holy crap um just yeah very very you know daisy it, it it's going to be extremely difficult to get daisy broken from hive's control it's going to be extremely difficult if it's even possible to actually destroy hive the antitoxin didn't work. Like they're they're really building towards it very very nicely. And honestly, this this setting of a Hydra troop patrolled town, small town in America, with with Inhumans and and Shield infiltrate, just very very cool. Like they keep coming up with really interesting settings. And yes, so according to MDB Trivia, this episode takes place immediately before the events of Captain America's Civil War. I'm not sure that matters at all, but it, okay, it's a, it's a factoid. Oh, the town that Hive buys, particularly the main street, was filmed in Gilisdeo, New Mexico, the same town used in Thor. Very cool. The tribesmen at the beginning of the show had markings very similar to Black Panther. Atypically, in this episode, there is no post-Shield logo pre end credit scene. And... That about... Right, I, I liked Fitzsimmons talking, you know, comparing the, the you know, Daisy... Yeah, confronting Daisy and confronting Hive. And, you know, if this was a competition, then I'd win. I, sh I had to shoot him three times just to shut him up. Worst case scenario, if Hive can't be killed, I suggest running very fast away. And... I think that might... Was that a spaceship? It's too small. It looks like more of a satellite. Why am I not relieved? And yeah, um, I am gonna try to do an episode tomorrow. And yeah, I will just end with a couple of interactions between May and James. Hey, this area is authorized for Hydra personnel only. Who the hell are you? Hello, gorgeous. I'm James Single, 33, original from Brisbane. I'm a Leo with a dab of Scorpio thrown in there for a good measure. I like a decent drink, a decent meal, an indecent last, and not necessarily in that order. And you are nauseous. Were you like this before you got your powers? 100% awesome? You bet. Being an inhuman doesn't change your personality.